Hi everybody, I wanted to talk about multi pens today, which are some of my favorite pens in the entire world. I haven't shown you my collection in a while, and I don't want to say that it's grown, but it definitely has changed a lot. I've gotten rid of some, acquired some other ones. My rule of thumb with my pens is that they have to fit in the case, and so I've gathered all of my multi pens from across my house and from my planners, and fortunately they do all still fit in the case. However, as you can see, it's getting pretty chunky, which is my sign that I need to pare down just a little bit. This is a Cubix case, which I got from Jet Pens. It is a pretty popular brand, so you should be able to get it from Amazon or someplace like that. I really like the color and the fabric. As you can see, it's very malleable, stuffable, which I have a tendency to do with all of my cases. I like that it has a zipper on the outside. It does not have one on the back, which across the board, I wish that pen cases would have storage, extra storage on the front and the back. I do really like the zipper. With the wide teeth, it's really gonna stand up to the wear and tear, which I am really hard on my cases, pen cases especially. And then with the position of the zipper, it is a book style pen case, which is my favorite type of case. That means it opens up all the way and it lays completely flat, so that is fantastic. So let me show you what I have in this front pocket. Obviously, you'd be able to fit all of your refills in here if you wanted to. However, I've just got empty barrels in here and I'm not using these for various reasons. But first of all, I have a Uni Style Fit Meister. I actually bought that for my daughter, so I'll give that to her the next time I see her. And then I have just this Coletto three barrel transparent blue, as you can see. I got a four pack of these for free when I bought some refills off of eBay. So I still have a couple of those. And then this is another Coletto. This is a five barrel transparent black. This is one of the pens that I rotate in and out of my finance binder. This is the one that I just used last month. This is a Coletto Lumio. And this is more of like the high end Coletto. It is, has some metal elements to it. So it's a little bit more expensive and it does weigh a little bit more. And this is the Sapphire Blue. I believe is what they call it. And this is one of my very favorite colors. Unfortunately, they have discontinued the Lumio line, so you still can buy some Lumios, but if you see a color that you like, like I did, you really need to snatch it up because they're not making any more, unfortunately. And they have a new and improved version of it, and it's just called the Coletto 1000. So that's just what their next generation of the Lumio is. So that's what this one is right here. It's essentially the same pen with just a few design elements that are different. So I have all five of those that will fit in this front pocket. I could probably fit one more in if I wanted to, but no. Okay, let's open this up. And this is what I was talking about. It really opens up super great. I love that it has this strap up here and I love the mesh pocket down here. Let's go ahead and start with this. These are my friction pens. I really like frictions and I have them in singles and I like them so much I decided to go ahead and get some of the multi pens. So this first one is a three barrel and then I have a four barrel right here and then this is another three barrel but this is a metal body. So it weighs a lot more than the other two. It being a, an erasable pen it, this is the eraser right here. They do have a professional or executive line that is metal and just looks very nice and it just looks rich looking. I really like them. Unfortunately, they have like this metal tip on the eraser and knowing me, I was going to lose that within a short time period. So I ended up just going with these three. And some differences with these two the plastic version has just this spring plastic pen clip. This is my least favorite pen clip and I'm pretty particular about them because I use my pen clips and I'm really hard on them. So I've had issues, this is not very durable so I don't like these at all, especially because it's short as you can see. Whereas the metallic one, very nice and long, it's got the nice spacing in between so you can put it around your rings or your spiral or some pieces of paper. So I like that a lot better. With the friction, and this is with some other multi pens as well, these come standard, so they're already filled when you buy them. So the standard three colors are always going to be red, blue, and black, and then the standard four colors are black, blue, green, and red. 
These are refillable. The frictions have, a, I think, at least 12 different colors that you can get off e not, not eBay, um, jet pens. But unfortunately, because these are already pre-filled, these cannot be changed out. So these knobs right here. And I think that that's a big issue because if you don't want one of these three or four different colors, let's say, for instance, you want an orange or a purple, where are you going to put that? My logical brain would probably put the orange under the red and the purple under the blue, but then you have to remember that you don't have these colors in here, you have other ones. So I wish that multi-pens always had, came with that option because I think that's a, a design flaw. And also these are pretty fat, I would say, for a pen. That may or may not be a bad thing. If you have some wrist or arthritis issues, you do want to go with kind of a bigger pen because then it takes less manual dexterity to grip the pen. But as far as if you're going to travel with this or you need to take this with a, one of your planners and you stick it in your wallet or something, this is probably not going to be your best option. There. Okay, then let's go. This is kind of my Coletto section. And I basically have like three main sections here. So my Colettos, this, these are exactly the same as the transparent black one that I showed you at the beginning. Coletto comes with 15 different colors. They also have a pencil and eraser and a stylus option, which I think are, is really great. None of the other ones have at least the, as far as I'm concerned, the eraser and the stylus option. So I can fit 15 different colors in three pens. And I think that's one of the charms of a multi-pen is that you can really have a lot of different colors in one single pen, which is fantastic for so many different reasons. And then I also have a three barrel right here, Coletto. And in case you're wondering, obviously multi-pen means more than one. So I've seen anywhere from two up to five is the most that I've seen. And all of these are Asian brand pens. So if you're not familiar with how those write, I've seen anything from a 0.28 up to kind of a standard is a 0.5. I think you can get some 0.7s, but in, with, in the Western world with pens, I'm always going to choose an extra fine. Whereas these kind of Asian pens, I can write with a 0.5 and I am completely comfortable with that. It's fine enough for me. So just to keep that in mind, in case you're ordering a 0.5 and you're wondering why it's so thin, that's why. They just run kind of a size smaller. But that's another great thing about the multi-pens is you can pick whatever thickness of pen tip that you want and all the different colors. Here's another Coletto, just like what I showed you at the beginning, another one of those free ones that I got. And I wanted to show you this because this is another option with the Coletto is that they have shapes on some of their refills. This is a flower and I've seen stars and hearts and I think even like Hello Kitty. So some people really like that. I'm looking more for the color those I just ordered off of eBay and I was just looking for the different colors there. So that's kind of a cute feature. Here is another Lumio. This is their champagne color. This is the one that I'm currently using in my finance binder. So I've got the pencil option right here, this light gray, green, red, and black are the other accounting colors. And I really do enjoy this pen. I have 0.5s in here right now because my Finance Binder kind of has larger lines in it, but like I mentioned, the 0.5 is completely fine. The, uh, the thing that I noticed about this though, is that you see the knobs on this one are pretty, they're rounded and they're pretty minuscule, but you know, still completely fine and noticeable for you to push the, it down. But the pencil is just like, what is that? Two or three times the size and it's kind of pointed. I don't really understand why they did this design feature and why they did not keep it consistent. I wish that they had done that because the eraser is white and the pencil is light gray. None of the other colors even come remotely close to that, but that's just what they did. And then I have a Pentel Slicky. I have some Slickies that are 0.28 that I really liked, so I wanted to try the multi-pen. This is plastic and transparent, but as you can see, you can't really see what the ink colors are. And then on the ends right here, it has transparent knobs to push the ink forward. And so the, really the only way that you can tell is just by looking at this really little window. So there's an orange, a green, and a purple. And I have several 
issues with this. Number one is that what happens when the ink runs down, you're not going to be able to tell for sure what the ink is because the ink is going to, as you can imagine, going to just keep running down and down for the barrel. So I think that is a huge design flaw with a multi pen with the with the versatility you're going to be switching out your inks all the time and you're not necessarily going to remember exactly which ones you have in there so i don't like this this is probably one of my least favorite multi pens just for that very reason and so that's just something to think about that's why i'm telling you that because otherwise you might be frustrated like i am this is a Pilot Evil. I've done a complete separate review and video on this. This is one of my favorite pens. Another one that I will switch out for my Finance Finder. And I had a really hard time coming up, figuring out which color I wanted because they've got such great metallic body colors. This is, this is made out of all metal as far as I can tell. So it's a heavier pen, a little bit bottom heavy, but just a really, really gorgeous pen. But I went with the green because I just I finally realized I was going to use it for my finances, so that's why I went with green. It's got a really nice label right here where it's got the B for the black, R for red, and then a 0.5, which is the pencil. So for my purposes, I don't really care that I can't see the inks because I can tell right there. I think that these are refillable. However, I don't know how many color options there are on this one, but like I said, that's not really a concern of mine for this particular pen. You do have, it screws off to get the eraser where a lot of the other ones will just pull off. And then this one's a little bit different because all of the other ones you push down to advance the ink. This one is kind of like a cross pen if you've ever had one of those where you just twist it back and forth to get whichever color you want. I had a cross pen at one time and I didn't really like it, so I got rid of that one. So there's that. And then on this other side, this is the Hobonichi free pen that you get. This is a Uni or a Uniball is the total company name of that. And this is just the three, it comes standard with these three colors. I ordered, I think I ended up ordering four planners. So I got four free pens and I ended up just giving rid of three of them or giving those away with my traveler's notebooks that I made. These are refillable. And you can change out the inks. However, you're going to have the same issue with some of the other ones where, like the frictions that I told you, you're not going to be able to remember what color it is. And then these three right here are the Uniball. These are the Style Fits. So as you can see, they're still Uni, but they have a completely different design than the other Uni right here. I do like that you can see this one. It has the opposite design that the Slicky had where you can see the colors down towards the tip of the pen, which I think is a much better option. And it is very noticeable, as you can see. I think these also come between 0.8 and 0.5s are kind of standard. The unis have some interesting colors. I, there are 16 total colors. I ended up getting everything but the black because I had enough black pens. And so I can, like the Coletto, I can fit all of the other 15 colors in these three pens. As you can see, it's plastic, so you know, this really cheap plastic pen clip that's very short. And then these kind of stick out. This design of this pen, not my favorite, it just looks like a rocket, you know, with these flares down here and the way that this is shaped. So not my favorite design, but I do really like the colors and the pen. If I have to choose all of the different ink colors, I would probably choose the uni ink colors. And then this is again, like I showed you at the very beginning, this is mine and this is the Uni Style Fit Meister. And so it's got this little window right here. So again, it's a little bit better than the Slicky design, but still I think once you get your refills you know, down at the very end, when you're writing with a pen, you wanna know always, at least I do, how much ink you have left. So I think that again is going to be kind of an issue, but at least you can see those just a little bit better. And then as you can see, the knobs on this one are clear. So you're gonna have that same issue with, you're not, it doesn't match what your pen color is, but it does have a metal pen clip. So that's nice. And it does have a, an eraser. So obviously there's an erase or a pencil insert that you can get with this one. But as far as I can tell, you can't, there is not the, the eraser. Obviously you don't need an eraser because it's on the back of that one, but the stylus like the, like the Coletto has. And not to be confusing, but this is another Uni Style Fit Meister. However, 
this is a metal barrel. So as you can see, they kind of have all the same name, but they're just, the styles are just completely different. And here's the little window on this one. So again, it's a little bit better than the Slicky, but still kind of the same issue. This is a three barrel. I really like this pen. It's a beautiful color. It's got a nice weight. It's metal. So much I like about this, except for that right there. And this is also like the Evolt where you twist it around to get whichever ink refill you want. And then last but not least is the Uni, and this is a Jetstream. This is probably the first pen I bought that's multi-pen or at least one of the first ones. So again, this is my favorite color with that really just nice dark true red. This came standard. So again, these are refillable, but you're going to have these color issues in the way. And then here's the pencil option, kind of just like on the, the uni style fit where the pen clip pushes down to be one of your options. So on this one, the jet stream, that is your pencil option on the metal pen clip. And then it's got an eraser right here and this one you just pull off. And I really like the weight of this pen, as you can tell, probably it's metal. This is probably the heaviest pen that I have, but it's still not too heavy for me to use. So I just wanna do quick comparisons really fast here. So here are the, the friction, and the Uni Style Fit, I would say, are probably the fattest pens that I have. And as you can see, they're about the same. I would say the friction is just a little bit more. So it kind of depends on your space and what you need them for and how many colors, but that's just side by side comparison on that. As, and as far as I can tell, I don't think the friction was available in the five color. Obviously, I would have bought that if they had. And then I wanted to show these two as well with a style fit, just kind of the design right here of the Coletto pencil really resembles the, the style fit right here, but I actually like the style fit one better because it's just more rounded. And I don't wanna say this is, you know, pointy or it's gonna hurt you or anything like that, but it's just, it's more, these are more comfortable to use than this pencil. So again, a little bit baffling why Coletto just drastically changed up the design on the pencil and the eraser. And I'm assuming the stylus too, as well. But there you go. I know somebody's gonna ask me, so I'm going to answer this. Which is my favorite pen overall? If I have to choose one multi-pen, it is still going to be the Coletto Lumio. I just think it's just a fantastic pen. It's kind of a middleweight pen. It's not all metal, so it's kind of, it's not too heavy, it's not too light, but it's just got a really nice weight in your hand. It's got a little bit of weight to it, which I like. And then with the Coletto in general, the barrel colors and the designs, they have a lot of different designs on them, limited edition, special edition, all of the different refills that I showed you. I think that overall, that's in my opinion, and I think that I am right about this, is that I think that it's probably the most popular multi-pen and I think that that's why. It just has so many more options for you. But the Lumio specifically, I really like just because it's just a nice size of pen. It's just a nice weight and I really like that. The four color is kind of just the middle of the road. I feel like three is too little for me. Five is a lot of times too many. So just four is just really great. Like I said, and like I mentioned, it is discontinued, but you still can find some different colors on there. So those are all of my different pens. And I wanted to just really quickly show you the refills. And I have a video on this. I had to figure out a storage system because once you get more than one brand of pen, then you have to kind of figure out how you're going to store them. And even if you just have the one brand, how are you going to store all the different colors? So these are the Uni. They come in a tube like this. And the tip of the pen kind of fits into right here. And that's just so I'm assuming that it won't leak. And then I will show you with the friction how to change those because they're exactly the same. So these are the frictions. And as you can see, actually I'll take this out. They are much, much shorter than the other ones. So you get a lot less ink with the friction. That's probably another thing to consider when you're trying to decide on what pen to use. 
So let me show you. There's some different options right there, the different colors. So they've got some purples and some oranges. They're really pretty. Okay, so let me get out one of my pens and I've got blue. So you just unscrew it and both with the friction and with the unis, you just pull them out just like that. You can kind of hear a snap and then you, there is a hole and you just need to line it up. You probably can't see it right there, but there is a definite place where you line those up and then you just screw it back on and it's ready to go. So really, really easy, but it's just kind of interesting how the different pen companies choose their sizes and how they actually do refill things. And then these are the Coletto refills. So here's some of the different color options and I have some decorative ones and then just some regular ones. This white one right here is the actual eraser refill. So when I had my five barrel last month, I had this in there now I'm down to a four barrel. But as you can see, it's very, very thin, but just a really great option. I'm so glad that they have that in there. I think it's cool. And let me grab one of my Colettos and I'll show you how to change those out. Most of the Colettos, actually I think all of them, have a kind of a pop top. And it just depends, like this one has kind of more of a rounded one, whereas this one's really, really flat. And the Lumio, I would say this is probably the only thing I don't like about the Lumio, it's got this little knob right here. And that's kind of uncomfortable, it's a little bit sharp. So that's probably the, the only criticism I have of the Lumio, but just the pop top right there. And so all you do is just pull it out and then you just line that up. And I would say the only trick here is number one, this knob has to be on the outside because it's got kind of a, another knob right here. And then it's also got some lines right here. I don't know if you can tell, but the lines have to be on the inside. Sometimes they, if they go on the outside, it'll kind of be flopping around. So you just have to make sure that that's steady in there. But there you go, it's really, really easy. Anyway, that is it. So let me know if you have any questions on any of these pens. In conclusion, I'm always going to have some kinds of multi-pens in my collection because I just love them so much. I really think that the only thing that could be improved overall is if they came with a multi-pen had a fountain pen refillable options. I'm just putting that out there to the pen gods here because I love fountain pens and I love to fill my ink and I love multi pens. So if those two were combined, that would just be sheer Nirvana for me. Anyway, thanks for watching you guys and I will talk to you again soon.